Hey guys, so today I wanna to talk about my three must have low light accessories for under 30 bucks. Let's do it. So how this all came about was uh, over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to go and film and photograph at a couple of classes. And one of those being a class uh, put on by Centrifuge and it was taught by Chase Jenkins and then Brian Willis. And part of that was low light VCQB. And as I was sitting there, one of the cool things about courses, if you've ever been, you get to see a lot of different gear that guys run. And you find out real fast what works and what doesn't. And there's just some things you see and you're like, somebody in the 80s thought that was a really good idea. But you also come across stuff that's really cool, stuff that works. And being there, especially in the low light portion, I got to see a few things that I thought, man, these are really great products. And I feel like everybody should have these. So that's what I wanna talk about. There's three of them, they're under 30 bucks. There's no reason at that price that you shouldn't have them. So let's get on to it, let's get to the first one. First one is the Filster Arc Enhanced Weapon Mounted Light Switches. That is a mouthful. Essentially what it does is it takes the switches that are on your weapon mounted light and it extends them. It also gives you a little bit more grip, a little more grooves on them. Um, some guys I have heard complain that they're a little bit rough. Just take some sandpaper to them, a little drill mill tool. You can uh, grind them down if you need to. The reason I thought these were such a game changer, especially for low light courses or um, weapon mounted lights in general, is that it solves two problems that we have with weapon mounted lights. The first one being that the reach on every gun is different, right? So it, on my Glock, it's a little bit of a further reach to the weapon mounted light than it is on my Tri-11. So it's slightly different, it's a little bit off, but it solves that problem because everybody's reach is a little bit different. Now, if you're at, uh, let's say you're on a police force or whatever, and everybody's issued Glocks or everybody's issued Smith & Wessons or whatever you guys have, well, you know, then it's the same for everyone. But the second problem is that everybody's hand size is different. So if you're like me and you have really small hands, it becomes a little difficult to reach this. So um, with the Filster arcs, I'm able to tailor the gun to fit me so that I don't have to move or alter my grip in order to efficiently manipulate the weapon light. So I like that. So whether it's with the um, with my right hand, I can do it with my index finger, um, I can do it momentary or I can throw it on, or um, with my support hand, I can also go momentary or flip it on and off. Um, I really like that. I think that they're they're great. They send them to you in a package of three, so they have different sizes, they have different textures, and then you can uh, adjust them accordingly, uh, whatever you whatever you need that fits you. If you have really large hands and you don't have issues, then congratulations on being well endowed. You get large gloves. Um, one thing I will say is that if you when you get these, um, when you put them on, they do state make sure you put some kind of Gorilla Glue or Loctite to make sure they are secure on there. I did lose one and I had to had to replace it, so that's no bueno. Um, and there's nothing that says you have to use. Um, there's nothing that says you have to use both sizes on either either side. So some people run a long one on one side and a short one on the other. It's up to you, um, but you have that option. So. It's just one of those things, again, to kind of customize the gun to fit you so that you're running and operating it in an efficient manner uh, in, a, in low light situation. So, my dog is losing his mind over the mailman. Moving on to the second one, the Theorem Switchback. So basically all it is, it's just a little uh, clip that goes on, it just slides over, you screw it on with your um, Surefire. They have it for a bunch of different lights. Um, and I know the new mod lights coming out um, they make one for that as well. But I um, actually came across this from Chase. He was running it at the course. Um, so I figured I'm going to try it out. Uh, it's become a part of my EDC. So this is my Surefire EDC L2. And I carry it on there every day. A um, couple of the benefits of it are that it's, it's a much faster deployment. So I run this in my pocket. Um, if you're running it in a plate carrier, chest rig, wherever you have it, it's really simple to just slide your finger in, pull it out, and then you have access to it uh, to your light right away. A couple other benefits are that if you're in a situation where you're going, say, like an FBI, and you've you've you know you're you're running here or modified out or whatever, um, and you've got to do a reload, if you don't have this, where do you put your light? So typically, you go under your armpit. Some guys put it in their mouth. Ask Chase about that one. Um, 
So what this allows you to do is to keep the weapon light on you and to know where it's at at all times and not have to worry about dropping it, especially in adverse conditions. So every centrifuge course I've been to, it's rained. Um, so if you're doing low light reloads and it's raining and you drop your light, you're, you're screwed. You're gonna have to search around for it. This allows you to just fling it around, pull your reload out, so you can go and manipulate the gun as you need to and then come right back to where you need to be. So it's, it's nice that it does that. Um, the other thing too, and part of their design, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has this little, um, this little notch made into it. And what that's for is that when you're running it here, and they call it their, their switchback grip, but what it's for is that as you grab your gun, or as you're gripping the gun, what you do is you take this finger, your thumb, and you push against it, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna engage the light. As you grip, you have what is a minimally intrusive grip or support grip on the gun. It's gonna take some training to get used to it, uh, but it is definitely an option. Uh, I know everyone has their preference, but it just gives you one more way to manipulate your, uh, your light, your handheld light, or your weapon mounted light. Uh, it just gives you options and it secures the light to you so that you're not worrying about dropping it or losing it or whatever. Um, one of the pushbacks or the concerns that I've heard or that people have brought up is that if you are in a situation, if you're Ellie and you're in a situation where you're at a traffic stop and you've got somebody pulled over and you've got this on and somebody tries to go at you hands on and they get a hold of this light that they can, you know, somehow use it against you or to manipulate you because they're going to, you know, bend your finger back or whatever. Again, I would point you to Chase Jenkins take all your questions, concerns to him, and he will gladly answer those for you. Um, I'll tag Chase below so that you can uh, reach out to him. Theorem did a great job developing this. They have a few options, uh, and again, they have them for pretty much every light out there, major light that you're, you're gonna run. Third product on the list, also from Theorem, this is their cell vault. So a gun without ammo is useless. In the same way, lights without batteries are dead to us. So the cell vault is, it's a really small and efficient way to keep backup batteries for your lights. So in this one, I have some backup batteries for my EOTech and for my Surefires, as well as for my Voodoo. This goes in my bag or it'll go on my belt or on my plate carrier. Um, and it's a really small footprint. So it's not gonna be in the way, it's not gonna be bulky, it's not gonna weigh you down. Uh, I know a lot of you, like LE guys, um, you, you don't have a lot of real estate on your belt to to deal with. So you you know, if you had to, you could keep it in your car, but I mean, this could go on any belt. And you just flip it on, flip it off, that's it. And then when, whenever you need batteries or whatever, you can do that. If you're in a low light course, put on your plate carrier, keep it in your bag, whatever. But you gotta have batteries, keep those lights running, because you don't wanna be at a low light course with lights that don't work. And that is it, but we have a couple bonus things. So if you're out at a low light course, um, you wanna have a personal identification marker on you. And especially for me as a photographer, as I'm moving around the course, I'm not on the firing line, I'm in weird positions at weird angles, and I want people to know where I'm at because I don't want to be in their line of fire. Uh, and I want them to know that if something does happen to me, they're like, why is that flashing light laying on the ground over there? And that's me laying because I'm dying. Um, no, hopefully not. But uh, these have been around for a while, and they are the, the V-Light which you see a lot of guys run these on their helmets, um, but it's got, a, it's got the Velcro on the back so you can throw it on your nameplate carrier, whatever, but it's also designed to where you can weave it through your Molly and it'll hang on there. And then the uh, Unity Spark, uh, it's a little personal identification marker. So just to show you what these look like, let's see, get these lights off and then there you go. There's the Unity. I usually throw this on my belt and then I have the, um, the V-Light. I'll throw this on my, Plate carrier, I'll put one on the front, one on the back, just so people can kind of see how I'm moving and where I'm moving to. And that will just allow people to know where I'm at at all times. And so, I, you know, if you're gonna take a low light course this year or next year or whatever, highly recommend those just as, a, I know glow sticks are a great option, uh, but you can use these and these run for like forever. And then when the battery goes dead, you can toss them. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, if there's something that you feel like I'm, I left out that you feel like should be on this list, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. And make sure you karate chop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next week.
Uh, hmm. Uh, blah, stupid. 